Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. So as I sort of already mentioned, I was thinking this time we could go explore the dungeons here in the Crystal Dimension. I think there are only like a couple types. There's the, the really small one, like the one I'm pointing to that's that's kind of small. Um, or there's the, the bigger one over there. I'm not sure if there are any other types that probably should have paid more attention, but that's okay. And then maybe while we're at it, we'll find some more Iru Kanji. I have no idea. We'll we'll see where things go. But for now, why don't we just grab this one real quickly? Destroy the couple uh, rotator spawners because I don't like them. Come on. Take it out. Come on. Take it out. There we go. Okay. And let's grab the chest. Let's see what we have in here. Crystal energy and rotator spawners. I'm not so sure that I need any of those, but um, they wouldn't be that good for a, a boss fight either, would they? Because they just fly all around. So, eh. Eh, it's whatever. Crystal energy, though, I'm, I'm forgetting. What can those be used in? I, I've definitely looked that up before. I was also just looking up the uh, the Titans from Flans mod because I, we haven't made one of those. I think we probably should at some point. Uh, anyway, crystal energy. What are you used in again? It was some sort of weapon, right? Or no, just torches. Oh, okay. Well, you know, we got torch ingredients. Good stuff right there. Hopefully the, uh, the bigger dungeon will have some uh, some cooler stuff in it. I was also thinking, you want to know what else we haven't made is the uh, the power glove with, um, whatchamacallit, modular power suits. And I think I, that would be worth making as well, you know? What is that up there? What in the world is that thing? A dungeon beast? Ho ho! Wow! Um, okay. That's, uh, so we have rats on the first floor here. Gotta get rid of them rats, man. We have a, a little bit of a rodent invasion pest problem. Uh, corn dogs. Corn dogs are probably tasty, you know. A lot of people are gonna be like, "How in the world?" But I've actually never had a corn dog before. I um, I don't eat beef because I had like some food poisoning experiences with it earlier on in life, and so I just sort of stay away from it. And so I haven't had like a hamburger or a steak or anything in probably like I don't know, 15 years or so. Um, but at the same time, uh, I had never had a corn dog before that even. So. Oh god, I'm gonna get bombarded by things here. Go away! Go away! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, there's even an opening on the uh, the second floor. Okay, go away! I gotta destroy the spawners. Um, one more. There's one more left. Ow! Okay. What? What the heck is attacking me? He's coming up through. He's submarining. He's submarining me. Okay. There we go. All good. Uh, what are you doing, man? Are you here? Or are you? Not? You're here. He was confused. He's like, I don't know whether or not I'm here or not. But that's okay. Um, Squid Zuku, we've definitely got one of those before. Lots of rotten flesh. I mean, I guess that's that's good stuff. Um, let's check out what do we have above here. Rotators, obviously. And hey, hey, rotators. Comet, comet, what the heck is hitting me? What the? Oh, it's a vortex spawner up above. I don't even know what's hitting me. I literally have no idea what's hitting me right now. Okay, maybe if I just destroy that, it'll stop hitting me. Or is it the vortex that's hitting me? Ow, stop! Good God, I need food. What happened to my food? Oh, it's right here. Okay, okay, give me a break. Give me a break. Jeez. Yeah, that's a vortex spawner up top. That's bad news. That's real bad news. How in the world would you do this without, like, using that little trick to to bring an ender chest in? I guess that's probably what you gotta do. That's just a legit strat. Go hey! Oh god, it hurts. Doesn't really hurt. It's not taking away much of my health, but you know, that's okay. Alright, so Okay, let me just Okay, take out the spawner at least. There we go. Much better. Woo! We're safe. Oh. That looks fancy. Um Tiger's Eye Sword, Poison Sword, Crystal Energy, Tiger's Eye Block. Hmm. Why don't we uh I don't know, let's grab Grab the stuff. We'll throw some of it back through the uh, the ender pouch, and I have to check out the the one floor below me as well. All right, all this stuff can go on back home. I do need get, need to to get some more peacock feathers as well, though. Why don't I try corn dog for the first time in my life? Better put that in my uh in my hop bar. All right, all this stuff can go, and another vortex. I, I'm just gonna leave the irukanji here, just in case I want to make try making it before I head home. But I don't know. Anyway, okie dokie, raw peacock too, yum. Mmm, okay, there are a lot of rotators down there, and uh, that's probably a little bit bad for my health, but what I can do is do a little, like, James Bond action here, you know, descend down the outside, 
shoot on in. Wreck them all. All right, let's take them all out. Shatter them like the glass they are. Are they actually made out of glass? It sounds like it. I don't know if they actually are. God dang it. They are quite a pain though, for real. Okay. What? Are, what? Are, I still don't know what's hitting me. I literally have no idea what is hitting me. Oh, I just keep taking damage. Okay. Um, Tiger's Eye. Oh, that's actually good stuff. I do want to take that for... I don't know why I'm being hit. What am I being hit by? I have no idea. Okay. Something on the floor below? Maybe? Let's see. I think I've been in here, right? No? Okay. Oh my god! Is it that dude out there? Is there another vortex or something? I'm so confused. Just keep taking damage. Uh, okay, though. Let's see. So I have that and that. It would be good if I had a helmet. I can give it to, uh, to Sherry, though. Because I think Sherry can take the, um... I'm still just taking damage. I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna fly away. So I'm not taking damage anymore. Um, I think Sherry can wear the, the Tiger's Eye stuff and it's better than the, the pink tourmaline, um, what have you. I didn't get the helmet, though. But if, maybe, um... Tiger's Eye block. Oh, I just put that back in. But, uh, let me search Tiger's Eye. I might be able to make the helmet. Tiger's Eye... How do we make it? It is, okay, ingots, and then tiger's eye block. Oh, that's not a, okay, we can make that helmet when we get back, and we can give this armor to, uh, to Sherry, and hopefully Sherry will be much more protected than she once was. I still don't know why there's another portal here. <laughs> do we go through? Do we dare? I'm not sure I want to, because I may get so lost when I get out of there. That could be bad, bad news. Oh, that's also, that's tiger's eye right there, just a solid block of it. Dang, that's kind of nifty. Well. I guess Tiger's Eye Armor wouldn't be that hard to come by. Well, anyway, go away pretty please. Another Vortex over there. Alright, we're just gonna head home real quick. Get that last piece of armor for, uh, for Sherry. And, yeah, we'll be good. <clears throat> okay. Let us go do this. Okay, Tiger's Eye, the block. Oh, I have a bunch of them, actually. I didn't even realize. Boom. And why am I not using the workbench in there? Boom. And I, oh, okay, I have a lot. <laughs> Apparently I have a, a lot of Tiger's Eye stuff. Could have made the armor a long time ago, just didn't have the presence of mind to do so. Don't you worry. Hello! Would you like some fancier armor? I mean, you do look pretty in pink, but I've got fancier stuff for you. So, here, here you go. Can we trade this? No? Um, how do I get the armor off of you? Shit, no? Um, I don't actually know how to remove the the piece from you. If I go empty hand, we keep clicking on you with an empty hand. Does it take, oh, remove stuff. Okay. I just gotta keep doing that. Take that off. All right, take that from you. And you're itching to go uh, into the crystal dimension, aren't you? She's standing on the telepad like, come on, why you no take me with you? Well, for one, telepads don't work for you. I hate to break it to you. There we go, beautiful and beautiful. You look so beautiful. Why? Just amazing. Okay. You just beautiful blue eyes and blonde hair and goldish armor. Looking fancy. Glad to call you my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. So let's throw the, uh, the rest of the stuff back, I guess. And uh, I still, I need to get hungry a little bit so I can eat a corn dog, man. That's important stuff. Can't, uh, I can't go another day without... Trying a corn dog. <clears throat> okay, so uh, skate bow. Did we have we made the skate bow? I don't think we have yet. Um, crystal shards. I have I have the necessary resources though, right? I do. Okay, skate bow. But then we need the fancy arrows. <clears throat> the iru kanji arrow, which we. Uh, oh, did I use up all the uh, the crystal shards for that? Well. Um, in that case, I may have to run back. I didn't even think about it. I, I need more peacock feathers, though. But I think the arrows are retrievable after you use them, if I'm not mistaken. So, hold on. Let me just check. Crystal. Oh, I have plenty. So I can just make some. Boom. And 60. Okay. I didn't mean to make that many of them. And, all right. Let's get the Iru Kanji arrow boom and we have made one but we need more we need more peacock uh peacock feathers so let's see how this thing goes don't don't stand too close it's gonna be oh i need to give you your diamond back that's why you're following me around you're like you have my diamond and i want it okay there you go all right let's see this thing boom 
Is that a, oh, I thought it was like a massive arrow for a second. Okay, so it drops when you get close to it. Let's check the damage on this thing. All right. So what do we want to test it on? We could we could test it on, a, we could do a boss battle. Dude, we haven't done a boss battle in forever. Why don't we do a, a boss battle? We could, I don't know, test it on the, the winner of the boss battle. Let's see, what do we have? Spawn, spawn a whatchamacallit. What shall we do? Krylophosaurus, creeper, medium worm, mothra. Things that don't fly are probably for the best. Let me just search on through this. I'll try to find a couple that we haven't done before. And uh, BRB. All right, I think I've got a good matchup. Basilisk and Hercules Beetle. I think the Hercules Beetle has more health, but the Basilisk has the slow and the poison, so they should balance each other out. I don't know, we'll see. Let's get our hands on some water. Bucket, that was a little bit of lag right there. Okay, anyway, all right. Get some water up in here, and then the battle will commence. And then on whoever the winner is, I, I'll test the uh, escape bow and uh, try to own them up. Because that'll, that'll be their victory prize. Oh, what's that? Oh, you won? You won the battle? All right. Have an arrow to the face that does 100 damage. Well, it might not do 100 damage on them because I'm uh, semantics. Okay. So, off to... Where did I last put my portal, actually? Is it over at the arena? I don't think it's over at the arena. It's not over at the arena. All right. So let's fly over to the arena and then maybe put our portal gun down there. Okay. So, the idea is blue for base... O for outside in in orange for outside. So like B B and then O O match it up match them up. It's a it's, try to remember that. <laughs> I won't. I'll mess it up still. Oh me and me and portals. Just that uh, you know the Schrodinger's cat in the box dealio. Um, all right. So I don't even know if I'm using that application properly there, but it is what it is. So look at our battle scarred arena, man. Um, what I, you know, what I should do is I should make a like an observation deck with with some of the the clear glass that you can just see through the bottom of. I don't know. Anyways, uh, is the dirt still disappearing? Maybe. Whatever. Okay. So, is everyone ready for the matchup? I'm gonna spawn them away from the uh, the cobwebs, and if someone gets stuck in there, then so be it. Whoa! Uh, that was probably a uh, Ars Magica meteor. Um. Anyway. Okay. So. In this corner, we have weighing in at 500 pounds, the Basilisk. And in this corner, don't attack the ref weighing in at something pounds. We have the Hercules Beetle, and they're attacking each other. All right. <laughs> who's going to win? I don't even know who's taking what damage. Who's who's taking more? Oh, the Basilisk has 200, and the Hercules Beetle has 250. Basilisk, man, he's, he's being aggressive. He's getting all up in the Hercules Beetle's grill. Hercules Beetle, though... Looks like, oh, looks like the Basilisk is taking the brunt of the damage here. I wouldn't have thought it. I would have thought that the Basilisk could, he's, he's really charging in though, to be fair. Oh man, Hercules Beetle absolutely annihilating the Basilisk here. It's not even going to be a close fight. Wow. Ouch. He's taking poison damage, but not nearly quick enough. Dang. I, w I wouldn't have pegged it as that lopsided of a victory for the, uh, the Hercules Beetle right there. Well, congratulations. You get a skateboat to the face. Let's see how much damage it does. Boom. Uh, a solid 24. Hmm, good stuff. Can I can I grab my? I just need to grab my arrow. That would be be nice. Uh, versus the ultimate bow though, which is 11. Oh my God, it does a lot more damage. Okay, but I need that arrow back. I really need that arrow back. If you don't mind, let me uh, let me just grab yield. Uh, let me just grab where? Oh no 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 no! Ah, oh, God dang it! <laughs> There we go. Okay, this is actually going to take forever because I don't have the Royal Guardian Sword on me. Because I'm smart. Alright, well, let's battle Hercules Beetle as if we encountered one in the wild. I don't even know where they spawn uh, in the wild, but that's okay. God dang. God, you're being annoying. Can you just let me kill you already? I mean, for realsies, man. Okay, okay. And uh, I've had just about enough of your... I've had just about enough of you attacking the ref. This is how the battle goes. You just die afterwards. I know, I could... I could go and I could just put a portal down and then I could go home and he would despawn, but that's not how we do it up in here. He was attacking the ref and that needs to be punished. Anyway, okay. Good old Basilisk dropping his chicken meat. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, where did my arrow go? It did uh, disappear on me. Oh, that's, that's good. Um, I didn't want it anyway. Oh, have a corn dog. 
This is per perfect food for like spectating a fight, you know? Getting a corn dog? Beautiful. And does it give me any special? No. It probably probably just giving me lots and lots of calories. So yeah. Gotta watch my figure, you know? Okay, well anyway. Boom. Oh, for outside, and we're back in the base. Don't even don't even have to worry about a thing except the fact that we lost our Oh, oh and oh wow. That thing loses it's durability. I guess it's not that hard to make. It's the arrows that are hard to make, and apparently they're not as easy to retrieve as I had hoped for them to be. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Let's toss some stuff back that we no longer need. And we can try making the uh, the power glove thingamadoohicker, because uh, that's been on the agenda for a while. I guess no point in really keeping the, uh, the skate bow in our inventory if we don't have any ammo for it. If only I could give it infinity. I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll enchant, as far as I know. Actually, let me check. Skate. Uh, I don't think that any of the ore spawn stuff works. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh. 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 Ooh. Maybe I can give it infinity. Infinity, uh, unbreaking three. You gotta be kidding. Actually, they're really easy to remake. Um, I can just keep making these things forever. Let's make another one. Let's see if we can get infinity on this thing. Um, skates, bow, boom, and let's just make a lot of them. Uh, let's actually, we'll just go one by one and keep enchanting. Oh well, actually, you know what? I need to. I need to grab levels from here in order to do that. Hey, give me. Is it an empty hand? Levels, give me them. I'll do, because I don't think you need to go level 30 to get infinity. You can go, like, a little less than that, right? Um, boom. I'll just use a few levels, you know. 10, infinity. Unbreak. Nice. 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 I like it when 30 levels gets me the same thing as 10. I mean, that's always good, right? Okay. Well, fortunately, I have absolutely massive amounts of EXP, so I can keep giving myself 10 levels without really uh, doing much to, let's see, 12.560, 12.543. Yeah, I've got a lot of level 10s that I can get for myself. Woo, okay. And let's do another level 10. All right. Uh, come on, give me infinity. Make me lucky. Are we feeling lucky today? Come on, level nine. Give me, maybe, oh, it may just be the, Unbreaking 3 is like the only enchant that it can actually receive. That's possible as well. I didn't even realize Termite did that. Thank you, Termite. All right. Well, Skate Bow Unbreaking 3. At least we don't have to worry about the durability, I guess. Not that they're hard to make and stuff. Not expensive. Okay, so probably the least worthwhile enchantment we could get. But whatever. Um, unless we found an infinity book, then we could apply it. Possibly. I'm, I'll test that in like another world to see if it's even compatible. Any hoosers? All right. Power glove. Um, where are you? Power fist. My bad. My bad. So, okay. I can actually. I haven't made this, right? It's not even that expensive. Um, power. Nope. I have not made it. Okay. So, do I have the resources? Uh, copper cables. Let me just search how many I have at the moment. Cable. Not very many. Okay, why don't we make a few of those? It was, we're gonna need 18. Oh no, I'm gonna have to tree tap. Uh, or no, I have rubber. Um, I'm gonna need to make more copper stuff. Okay, make some of those. And then make some of these. All right, that'll do for now. And now, don't need to tree tap. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. And then uh, circuit. All right, there. Um, do I need to make more iron plates? No, one, two, three. Boom. Awesome. And then let's make that power fist. I think it's the attachments that are going to, well, as with all the other power armor stuff, it's, it's the attachments that, you know, kind of cost a ton. Uh, okay, but we have a we have a power fist now. Cool. Does it have any abilities? It has uh, absolutely none. Mm hmm. Well, let's see if we want to uh, change that. All right, power fist X. What do you need? Um, it's actually not that expensive. Pickaxe. Uh, 
I guess all these are like the same. Huh. Okay. As far as expensiveness goes. Prototype Omni Wrench. That could be a good thing. Special Diamond Drill. Add diamonds to allow your pickaxe module to mine obsidian. It's actually not that. Okay. I mean, this is good. The weapon. That's. Oh. That's real expensive. <laughs> Holy crap, that's two of those super battery things, plus the force field emitter. Okay, railgun. Oh my god, one of the HV capacitors. Oh boy. Blade launcher is more realistic. And what was this one? Melee assist. Okay. We need to give it a battery, though, I th think. Maybe not for this stuff. Why don't we go... Let's go pickaxe. Okay, we'll make a solenoid. We definitely have the resources to do that, and then we'll see how quickly it mines out things. Um, solenoid. Oh, I actually I have one. Okay. Uh, cool. And then I think solenoid was more of like a a basic a basic block that's used in the construction of freaking HV capacitor. Never again do I want to construct one of those ever. All right. So pickaxe. Um, oh, th three. That's okay. Uh, oh, I threw back my module thing. Um, iron. I want to do, uh, I was thinking of grabbing my Wi-Fi module, but I don't have it on me. Okay, so let's do pickaxe and install overclock. So now if I scroll through, um, why don't we try this out? Okay. Oh, hey, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful, actually. <laughs> that works quite well. And then, hold on. Oh, it, I don't even need to switch to that tool. It just works on anything? Hold on. So this is going to be like the Shick Axe from uh, way back when in, in ye old Divine RPG. Okay, let me grab a... Let's make another couple solenoids. Okay, solenoid. Um, what was the crafting recipe on you again? Basic machine casing. Good. And then... Good. Do I? I don't even know if I, do I have the the wiring stuff. Let's just see if I can make one. Boom. No. Okay. So I need the uh, gold wire, gold cable, gold cable, which is right there. So let's make some of that, and then make some of that. Cool. And now I think we can make it solenoid. I just want to make two so I can do axe and, and shovel. So that, and okay, two, and that'll do. And then we have enough if we want to make uh, another. All right, cool. Cool beans, this is gonna be like a super duper multi-tool. We may not even need the, uh, actually we probably are gonna want, we're gonna wanna still use the ultimate pickaxe because it has fortune on it. But uh, for the sake of like construction and whatnot, um, install and install, and we could do shears. How does it cut through creepers? What? What does that even mean? I'm gonna have to look in. Hold on. Let's do the. <laughs> let's make. Let's make it have shears too. Why not? Solenoid. Boom, and then we can test it out as far as what it does to, to creepers. Um, make four more of those. And okay. All right. And we'll probably uh, probably be good after after that, I would say. Okay, shears, install, and all right. Let's overclock these things like halfway or something. I'm not sure what what, do, what would overclocking shears do exactly, but <laughs> harvest aren't shears pretty instant as far as I'm aware? All right, anyway. We could put this in like the fourth slot, move the pickaxe elsewhere, and let's see. Okay, use this on just a block here. Super quick. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, awesome. This is actually pretty cool. And then what? It says uh, there are a bunch of different shear options. It's interesting. I could have sworn that to swap between them, you like shift and then scroll, but that's not working. Whatever. Um, and then shovel. Oops, okay, didn't mean that's quick. Uh, <laughs> Oh God! Well, 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 well. That's a little bit, a little bit too quick there. Although we can harvest tons of sand without losing any durability whatsoever. Barley. Can we make a? Are we making some beer here? Maybe. Okay. And then I could give it a. 
a, uh, a hoe as well for when I right click. Okay, well that I mean power fist, quite the uh, quite the tool to have on our on our side here. So let's see if we do this, and there goes leaves, and there goes. God, this is amazing. All right, awesome. Well. I'm glad we made this thing, and slightly disappointed we didn't do it earlier. Well, anyway, I think I might call the episode here, uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have a rating, I can talk. A rating would be much appreciated. Uh, thanks for watching, dudes, and I'll see you next time.